No. It's like Sam Raimi and the Oldsmobile. We're going to use this in every <laughs> shot. Do you know what this cost me? <laughs> You know, earlier this week, we celebrated International Global Women's Day. Yeah. I mean, for such a big event, you'd think some of these bitches would get together and at least make some hors d'oeuvres or something. <laughs> Welcome to Two Gaming Dudes, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. I should have saved that one for the MCU discussion <laughs> later on, but... Oh, we're going to talk about that. We'll get to there. Why are we doing Quantumania now, weeks after it's opened? Because now's when we're doing it. Because now is when we finally decided to go see the stupid thing. And... I felt about this similar to the way I felt about Love and Thunder. Okay. I, I had fun sitting in the theater. I, I laughed at some of the jokes. I enjoyed watching the movie and eating my popcorn and raisinets. But it's a stupid movie. Isn't it, though? It, it's fun. it was fun, and I enjoyed it, but it, it's dumb. <sighs> and I just don't mean that the plot is just laughably stupid. I don't know what to think about this movie. Everything from the special effects looking just so goofy all of a sudden. I mean, it's really ridiculous to it just not feeling like an Ant-Man movie. Who was the hero of this movie? I don't know. Who's the main protagonist? Who's the hero in this film? It's not Ant-Man. It, no. So is it... Is it's it, the daughter. The daughter? It's oh. the daughter. So I don't much, give a shit about Cassie Lang. So much like how... Uh, Doctor Strange 2 wasn't about Doctor Strange. It was actually all about the Scarlet Witch. Well, the yeah. Here, it's not really about a hitman. It's this is about Cassie. And Yeah, they, um, they spend a lot of the film belittling the main character. Um, I could give a quick plot synopsis, I guess, but... Do you really... I mean... I, I mean, if you do that, then Michelle we, Pfeiffer, can, we, yeah. we know where to point okay. and go, okay, well, that sucked, and that sucked. So Michelle Pfeiffer, who still looks spectacular, yeah. even pushing six, just a gorgeous woman, she get, she was trapped in the quantum verse, and she met Kang while she was there, and saw him become this dictator, and then she came back home. <laughs> and doesn't say a peep about this to anyone. Yes. That becomes important later on. And then Ant-Man's daughter, because she's a teenage girl in the MCU... She's a genius who creates Death Star technology in her fucking basement. Because that's what teenage girls in the MCU do. I hate that, by the way. I hate it so much. Okay, moving on. She creates this thing that maps the quantum realm. So you, it's like a probe. You can just map it from here and we don't have to go down there. And then, and then Michelle Pfeiffer's like, oh no, don't do that. There's bad things down there that can read your signal. And they well, all that would have been nice to know. So yeah. They were building it in her basement. Yes. I have to imagine this took longer than a few hours. I have to imagine that they've been working on this for months or years, maybe. I doubt it. I think she made it in an afternoon because she's just that smart. That's also possible. And she also has an Ant-Man suit, too, because she needs one. Yes. Because why not? And also the Ant-Man suits are now all the cool nanotech that you just tap your chest and it goes blah, 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 yeah. blah, 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 and then you have armor now. Because Marvel spent a lot of money developing that computer program, and we're going to use it. No. It's like Sam Raimi and the Oldsmobile. We're going to use this in every <laughs> shot. Do you know what this cost me? <laughs> the honest-to-God reason why they do that is because when they're filming it, they have no idea, is he wearing his armor now, or does oh, he wear it later? Shit. <laughs> when does he wear the armor? I don't know. What's the armor going to look like? Oh, we haven't actually finished the sketches for the new armor. Well, then just film him in his regular clothes and we'll just CGI <laughs> armor on him whenever we feel like now he should be wearing armor. Great. Filmmaking. What the hell, man? Um, used to be he had to put his hand up and like the arm would you know, trigger open and stuff. Now. It was a helmet. And I, that much I kind of liked because it was very old school and it looked like he was wearing like a motorcycle outfit, you know? Yeah. Now it's just all the cool nanotech. It's all just done CGI, which... Which they... Stole from Willow. <laughs> <laughs> and her skin tight battle armor. Uh, also, there's some tension between Ant Man and his daughter because she is a social justice warrior. That's right. Trying to save the world. And dad, you're a fucking loser that never accomplished anything. <laughs> I mean, besides literally saving the fucking world. Yeah, there was that. But that was like, like two yeah. years ago. Okay, boomer. <laughs> So they all get sucked into the quantum realm, including a bunch of ants. Yes. Which is also important later. And then they, 
they realize, oh no, Kang is here and he knows we're here, and he kidnaps them, and you have to fix my ship so I can continue jumping through the multiverse and dominating everything. No, I won't do it. And they team up with these freedom fighters, because there's a whole fucking world, a whole fucking Star Wars galaxy living in the quantum realm. <laughs> Who knew? And we're, they join the freedom fighters, uh, led by Katie O'Brien. Hot, by the way. Lesbian as fuck, but oh man, she's magnificent. Uh, and then they, they rebel. And then they have the ants come to help, because the ants have built a society, a technocratic th society of their own, that <laughs> Kang never noticed either. <laughs> And they overthrow Kang, and then they, they go home. And then the Council of Ricks is all meeting together, <laughs> which is thousands of Kangs going, no, 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 we're all going to team up and fuck these guys. That's right. That's, that's the movie. Yeah, there's this moment towards the end when you're like, oh, man, so Scott's actually going to, like, sacrifice himself. He's, he's grown and learned how to be a true hero by... Because that's the ultimate measure of worth of these true heroes in the Marvel Universe is sacrificing themselves at the end. So he's going to stay behind and have to exist in the quantum realm. Oh man, here comes Wasp. She can't live without him. So they're both going to be stuck in the quantum realm forever. No. Nah, don't do that. <laughs> and then uh. Cassie Lang literally pushes the plot button <laughs> and just opens up this plot hole where they walk right through and they're like, and it's over now. Bravo. Bravo. Roll credits. Magnificent. Oh. So again, I enjoyed watching it because it was fun, but none of it makes even a any sense. fucking sense. None of it makes sense. So much of it feels like we're going to tell this story. Mm, change my mind and mm, re refilm and reshoot and I change, I change my mind again. We're going to do something different. So here, here's the thing. Um, I was looking at the director. Mm hmm. Peyton Reed. Peyton Reed. Peyton okay. Reed was the director. Was he the director of the first two? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, he did do Bring It On, okay. The Breakup, Yes Man, and Down With Love. He did a bunch of rom-coms. Oh. Which tells me what the studio had in mind when they started putting this together. They didn't get a Hong Kong martial arts director mm -mm. or a Fast and Furious car chase scene director or a stunt director or even a CGI comic book director. They got a rom-com director. That tells me exactly what they had in mind when they did this. And then clearly they changed their mind a few times. I mean, he was okay with the com because the... What, what is the telltale guy? What is the male in a rom-com always? This dorky, clueless, and he needs the girl to... No, stupid, this is how you find true love. And he's, oh, oh thank yeah, you. I right. opened my oh, mind. Oh, my God, yeah. Ant-Man is a dork. He needs this teenage girl to teach him how to open his heart and be a father and <laughs> what heroism really is. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I've known some teenagers. That's not what they think. That's not, that's not what they do. <laughs> Most of them are idiots. Yeah. Um, beyond that, you just, you can't. You were stuck down there for 30 years, and you never said a peep about it's, it's dangerous to go trouncing around down there. You never said a word about it. Nope. Nope. Trauma. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. I, I don't want to talk about it, but I also don't want to warn you about it. And I also don't want to make, you know, I mean, you can poke around in there, but don't, don't poke around too far in there, or I might actually have to say something. And, and then they did the Hulk treatment to Kang, which really made me mad. The Hulk treatment. The Hulk was the most powerful, strongest force in the universe. Right. And then Thanos beat the shit out of him. And then She-Hulk <laughs> beat the shit out of him. And then Thor beat the shit. You've turned him into this joke. <laughs> yeah. So now you've got Kang, Kang the Conqueror, who's like- The existential you, threat to the multiverse. Who came forward even once and was like, Ant-Man, so you're an Avenger. Have I killed you before? <laughs> I killed so many of you, I can't even keep track anymore. And I'm like, oh, damn, this guy really is this incredible badass with technology that's thousands of years into the future. Clearly, he's in, in stop. No. Until we get to the climatic battle of Act 3, and then we need him to be a poussoir. Yes. So Ant-Man, of all people, freaking Ant-Man beats the hell out of him. I just, I, what happened? Uh... Now, when... 
Kang shows up in another film, because I'm imagining he's going to be the big multiverse baddie, so he'll show up again. Right. Well, this loser this again? Dork. He's got no credibility as a villain now. Who is he going to fight next? He's already got his ass kicked by Ant-Man. Right. So who, now who? He's going to go up against Thor? Give me a break. What, what? Ant-Man just whooped your ass. I don't, uh, I don't know where they're going with this, man. What are I they got, doing with this phase? I don't know. But they've truly failed at making uh, a threatening villain. Yeah. Uh, I, I have a hard time with that. I have a hard time with his motivations. They don't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah. I, I don't understand what's going on. It's told in this story that's so chopped to hell. Somebody described this as Rick and Morty if it were like PG-13. Yeah. And it <laughs> does have NC-17. some... It does have some Rick and Morty vibes down to characters that look like broccoli. And like, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I laughed at those little moments. I some did, of them. I did too, but I, I also laugh at Rick and Morty. So, you know, I, I laughed at some of this stuff. And I had fun with some okay. of it. it. It wasn't like the worst thing I've ever seen. It's just... I can see why it's not doing all that great in the box office. And I can see why... People just continuously lose faith in whatever the hell it is Marvel is doing. And whatever the next project is that Marvel's got going on, we're all just like, uh, all right, I guess. And, and then with each one after that, they've already announced, here comes the Avengers. Uh, you know, they've announced the next two Avengers, the new Avengers. movies. Yeah. It's you know, new characters? No, no. They've just said, you know, Avengers, King Dynasty, and Avengers, whatever. So I they have to reassemble? Right. And I don't, it'll be the new Captain America. I don't know. And I don't know that I care. And Iron Man's daughter. And Iron Heart. And Miss Marvel. And the, the new chick Black Panther. <laughs> is that what the new phase is going to be? Y yeah. Because I, I don't want to watch that. I don't... I don't care about these characters. And She-Hulk. I like She-Hulk. And mean, Miss Marvel will be there. And Captain Marvel. I guess if that Marvel movie Rambo. ever actually happens. Okay, well, here, here's the thing. Okay, so touching on the Marvel fatigue, mm -hmm. we've got Guardians 3 coming up shortly. Yep. And that'll be the last of them. And I'm glad. Because I, I have of the one Guardians more in movies, me. Yeah. But I'm sure the Guardians themselves will show up in other movies. It's like Maybe. Iron Man 3 was the last Iron Man movie. And then we saw Iron Man show up <laughs> in five more movies. So, well, Batista's out. Yeah. Dave Batista's not doing Drax anymore. So. He's gone. The, the point is, uh, that's coming out in uh, May. Mm -hmm. And then a few weeks later, the Marvels was slated, and they've pushed that back to Thanksgiving now. So they put six months in between them. And I think that's a good idea. Yes, I, I definitely think so, too. I still have no plans on seeing the Marvels. <laughs> at all. I don't, leave some comments down below. Do you care about the Marvels? Is that something that you're really excited about? And why? Why are you excited for this? I want to know. Put some comments down there. But beyond I don't, that, I do not give. I, yeah, I just I don't know what you do with this property anymore. B besides that, they've milked the shit out of it. You were already scraping bottom of the barrel characters when you brought out Ant Man. Yeah. And now you're bringing up Miss Marvel, and now you're just making shit up with Iron Heart. <laughs> <laughs> It was based off of a comic book character. Yeah, comic book character. It came out like two years ago. You just, just made it up. Just now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I don't know either. And I... And neither do they. That's evident. They, they, they have a... clear. They have addressed the glut of shit that they put on the streaming service. They, they understand that, okay, we can't just throw out eight piece of shit series every year and expect people <laughs> to care. So they, we they're don't. coming back on that. That's a good sign, at least that they're responding a little bit to that. But they're still pushing this teenage girl shit. And we're going to get to that also yeah. in All a right. little bit. So, so I don't know. It, it was fine. That's kind of where I'm at, too. It was, it was fine. It was okay. Which is a real shame because there was a time when Marvel movies would come out and I would be like so excited. Yeah. It was so awesome. I can't wait for the next one, but that's gone now. I saw this and it was, it was fine. I feel about the same as with this as I did with 
Adam Black and the new Shazam movie is coming out. I feel the same. It's just, here comes another superhero film. People are going to shoot lasers out of their hands and it's fine. Whatever. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Leave some comments down below. Don't forget to click subscribe. I don't know if my telling you to click subscribe actually helps it doesn't or not. not. They don't do it. No, I don't know. Sometimes I think they've reached to this point and they're like, oh shit, I forgot to click the button. <laughs> it's a good thing that guy, that little Chinese guy down there reminded me to click the subscribe button. Nobody has made it to this point. <laughs> Our average view duration is 2 minutes 52, 2.15 minutes. <laughs> well, then they're missing all the best stuff. They really are. No, no. The feminist joke always starts at the beginning. Oh, okay. So they get the best <laughs> stuff. <laughs> All right, do your thing. We'll yeah. see you another time. Bye.